Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 2 of chapter 2, section 4 from the practice exam. Use the given graph of f to find a delta such that if 0 less than absolute x minus 3 less than delta, then absolute fx minus 2 is less than 0.5. So, if we use the epsilon delta definition of the limit, epsilon delta definition of limit given an epsilon positive you have to find a delta positive such that if 0 less than absolute x minus a less than delta then absolute fx minus l less than epsilon so if we compare this statement um, with this given statement here so we can find out what a and L the limit R. Here comparing absolute x minus A less than delta, we find that A equal to 3. In our problem A equal to 3 and then L equal to this number 2. So L equal to 2. So if we interpret absolute fx minus 2 less than 0.5 which is given here um, this means fx is less than fx minus 2 is less than 0.5 and more than negative 0.5. Or if you add 2 to both sides, all the sides, fx will be less than 2 plus 0.5, which is 2.5, and it is 2 minus 0.5, which is 1.5. So, 1.5 less than fx less than 2.5. So, that's exactly what we see here. So, what we see here is L equal to 2 and this 2 plus 5 is L plus epsilon and 1.5 this number is L minus epsilon. So, L limit equal to 2. L plus epsilon is 2.5, L minus epsilon is 1.5, which tells us epsilon should be equal to 0.5. So, the number that you see here is epsilon. Now, absolute x minus 3 less than delta, less than delta would mean x minus 3 is less than delta, but more than negative delta or x is less than 3 plus delta more than 3 minus delta. So, we have to find out a suitable delta so that x lies between 3 minus delta and 3 plus delta. So, here we notice 3 is this number 3 which is a equal to 3 but the neighborhood of 3 in the graph does not seem uniform. So, to the left it is 2.6. So, the difference between 2.6 and 3 is 0.4. The difference between 3 and 3.8 is 0.8. So, let us consider we have to make the difference uniform. So, let us consider delta 1, delta 1 to be this distance, which is distance between 3 and 2.6, which is 0.4. Then, delta 2 to be this distance which is distance between 3.8 and 3 which is 0.8. So, in order to make it uniform uh, we have to make we have to take the smaller of delta 1 and delta 2 choose delta choose delta which is smaller than or equal to the minimum of delta 1 and delta 2. In other words, choose delta which is smaller than or equal to minimum of 0.4 and 0.8. So, which is obviously 0.4 is the minimum of the two. So, if you choose delta to be smaller than or equal to 0.4, um, which means the neighborhood of 3 would become 2.6 and 3.4. If x lies between 2.6 and 3.4, then f of x 
uh, the would lie between 2.5 and 1.5 so the choice of delta in this case is smaller than or equal to 0.4 hope this video helps